Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. To remove this master window switch, there is a tab that is fitting under the door panel on this side, and there's a clip on this side, so it needs to be lifted up this way first, and then lifted out. So I use this plastic prying tool. You can get these from 1aauto.com. Just kind of work it underneath the edge of the switch. If you need to, you can go on this side, on the outside here. Just kind of pop it up. and then it's gonna lift out backwards. This hook here has to come off. We're pushing the locks. Pull this connector out. There's another lock on this side. Undo this connector. Take that out. I'm going go in behind the door handle. Use my plastic trim tool to pop this lock off. Do it like that. Pop that plastic piece out. Put that aside. There's a small push clip. I'm going to use a small flat bladed screwdriver to kind of open it up. It's tricky to get in here. So it popped it out. Now I can pull the clip out. It should be unlocked, and when I pull the door panel off, should pop that out. You remove the Phillips head screw. There's just push clips that are around the edge of the door, holding it to the door panel now. So I'm gonna hold on to the door and just give it a firm pull. Reach my hand underneath. The top of this door panel kinda clamps around the door panel. So we're gonna lift it up and off. So now that clip popped out because it was unlocked. So we've got the door lock, the cables. Pop this out and then pop that up. And then there's another one here. Pop that off. Up there. And this will pull out. You take a small flat bladed screwdriver, pop this lock up. So I just had to pry this tab out from underneath this metal here, and that's what unlocked it. I need to remove this clip here, push that off. Pull that straight up and pull the door panel out of the car. We have to take off this water uh, vapor barrier. I'm going to pop these plugs out. You can use a plastic trim tool. You can get these from moneyauto.com. Just kind of pop it out gently. Make sure you don't lose them if you drop them. Unplug the door lock actuator. There's a little lock on the top. Just push it in, pull it right out. I get this rubber plug out of here. Just push that out. It's now ready to take this vapor barrier off. It's got this uh, like butyl tape that's on the back side of it. It's very, very sticky. You just kind of carefully peel it off. You probably want to wear gloves because it'll get all over your hands. And you're also at the same time going to guide out this harness as I pull this off. If this stuff is really sticky, you can take a razor blade and as you're peeling it, just sort of slice the butyl tape part. Try to be careful with the vapor barrier because it's kind of fragile and can stretch and rip. You want to be able to reuse it. I'm going to guide the harness out of here. Just keep going. 
It also helps when you do this, if it's a warm day, this butyl tape is a lot easier to work with. Guide this one out. And I want to put this somewhere where it's not going to lay sticky side down and just where it won't get damaged so you can reuse it. Use a plastic trim tool or a small flat blade screwdriver. You can get these plastic tools from winningauto.com. We're going to pop out this rubber plug. Kind of work it out. Put that aside. We need to remove this uh, actuator rod that goes from the door handle down to the door lock actuator. There's a plastic clip at the top. I'm going to pull it away with my finger. Slide it open. Then it needs to come out this way. If it doesn't want to come free, you can pop a trim tool up behind it. Use that to pry it off because it's got a little bit of a, a sort of a lip to it. I'm going to pop it right off. Now you can remove this bolt here and pull the lock cylinder off the back of the door handle. Use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and extension. Careful because the bolt is not captured in there. So it might want to fall. I'm going to pull the door lock cylinder and bracket off the back of the door handle. Just kind of slide it out. Just hang loose there. We're going to feed it down through this opening in the door bar when we take out the door lock actuator. This bolt here is holding in the lower part of the window run channel. It kind of runs in front of the door lock actuator. So we can use a 10 millimeter socket ratchet to loosen it. And this way I can move it around and it will help me get the door lock actuator out. I'm just going to take that out, put that aside. So now this is uh, loose and I can bend it. And I'm going to take a Phillips head screwdriver, remove these three Phillips head screws. I'm going to remove these, this Phillips head screw here. Before I do that, I'm also going to unclip the cables. They're clipped into this little plastic clip here, just push them out. I'm going to use a decent sized decent size Phillips head screwdriver, one that kind of has a flat tip to it, so it fits in there nice and solid. Push against it. Remove this screw, put it aside. I'm going to move these three screws over here. Break them all free first. Put those aside. I'm going to reach in with my right hand, just kind of push I don't want to push on the tabs inside here. I just want to push on the edge, break it free, and kind of slide it out. I'm maneuvering it around that run channel. I'm also feeding the cable down that has the lock cylinder and bracket attached to it, and working it through the door. So if you don't undo the lock cylinder, from the door handle and let it slide down. You're going to have to work with this very close against the outside door panel and it's kind of hard to remove. There's actually a tab here that I broke trying to remove it. But what you do is push outward on these clips. There's a tab on each side. Kind of push it up and then it unlocks and you can pull this cable out. Now 
Now we can slide the door lock actuator out. I've got the window track or the run channel pushed up here. And I can move, maneuver this whole thing out of the door. I can take the lock cylinder out now. It's on the end of the cable. The whole assembly. Just to give you a better understanding of how this door lock actuator and the actual lock cylinder and the cable connect because you need to disconnect them but when they're inside the door panel so it's a little hard to see so this is up inside the door panel like this and the cable comes down and this door lock actuator is sitting in there and it goes into here and there's a little orange piece in there that's keyed for this metal part of the cable so that actually fits into there get it to line up, it will snap into place, and then the lock goes over, and that holds this in place. Let's see, actually you have to be careful, see I just plugged this in, I mean it would be easier in the car because this is held in place, but I just did it 180 degrees out. So to take it off, you're actually pulling on these tabs. Uh, normally there's a tab here, it broke off. So you'd actually take and push these two tabs out and unlock it like that. And then you can pull this whole thing right out of the door lock actuator. And then just make sure when it gets installed, this is facing towards the door panel. Again, it just pushes in and then clips in place. So now I'm gonna reinstall this back in the door panel. All right, we're gonna take our door lock cylinder and the cable, feed it into the door panel around this piece of sheet metal here. And just feed it down and just leave it there until I'm ready to connect it to the door lock actuator. I'm gonna reinstall our door lock actuator back into the door. Before I get it too far, I'm going to hook up the door lock cylinder cable. All right, get that locked into place. Slide the actuator up. This screw caught. Reinstall these screws on the outside here. Push it up into place from the inside. Head screwdriver, tighten these up, bring them in evenly. Clip our cables back in place. Just push right back in the clip. Put the door lock back into place. Trying to get that tab caught. A little tricky. Might have to reach over. Just push against the outside door lock handle. Outside door handle. Is. I can reinstall the bolt, reach in with the socket extension and put the bolt in there. Be very careful, you don't drop it. You could take um, just a little bit of this stuff here, get stuck on the bolt and it will stick inside here and it won't fall out. Find the hole, line it up. Might have to hold this handle on the outside. Just get that threaded in. Snug it up. You don't have to kill it. Take it out. We're going to take our control rod, push that into the grommet, like 
like that. And push the lock tab over it. Now it's installed. Don't forget to reset the window run channel that you moved. Make sure it's back in there. Otherwise your window is not gonna go up and down properly. Just tighten that down. We're gonna place our vapor barrier. Let's get some openings in it for the different cables. Let's do this first. Put the control cables in for the door lock and the door handle. There's another opening here for the door lock actuator. Get that set up. Feed the harness through for the master window switch and mirror control. Once those are in place, just kind of line it up with where it was originally. This stuff is so sticky. Kind of put it back into place. Just go right around the edge. So we're gonna replace any rubber plugs you took out. That one there. This one goes on this side. Also holds in the vapor barrier. Put this little one back in place. Don't forget to plug in your door lock actuator. And reinstall our door panel. Gonna feed the master window switch up into the opening in the door panel. I'm gonna get close to the door. Need to reinstall the door lock and the door pull handle. So this one with the threads, that, or the things that look like threads on it, sits in this opening here. So we're gonna get it pushed into place. Put this lock over. Get that into position. Also helps to have the window open, as you can see. So you can kind of look through. Grab our other cable. Do the same thing, push it into the opening, push the lock over. Snap that in place. And then push this lock up there. Now I'm going to, this lip is going to hang on the edge of the door panel. I'll get that set up first. Just like that. Make sure our harness is out here. And then we can just push it into place on the clips. Go around the door panel, push it in. So this Phillips head screw with the shoulder goes to the top. There's also a push clip that goes in here. Push that in place. Push the center part in to lock it. Place the trim cap. Slide the little hook front part in. That's installed. Reinstall this screw. To install this, Plug the large connector back in place. So it'll click when it's locked in. Plug the small white connector into here. It'll also click. There's a tab that's gonna fit into the door panel on this side first. And then a clip that's gonna clip down into the door panel. I'll start by fitting it this way and then pushing it down into the door panel. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.